Good morning, St. Pius. Today is Monday, September 18th, 2023. We're celebrating one birthday today in pre-K. Happy birthday to Liliana Snyder. High today of 65 degrees and rainy, so going to feel like a fall day today. We will see about uh, recess a little later today. A uh, hot lunch this Monday, we've got cheeseburger or grab bag. Uh, after school today, cross country, you guys start today. Uh, soccer, you guys will continue tomorrow, so it's awesome to see uh, some of our sports. Uh, coming back this fall. Uh, hey, last week uh, we did our first fire drill of the year, and I have to say you guys did a great job. You took it seriously. Uh, you exited the building uh, uh, quickly but quietly. Uh, we'll probably have a couple more fire drills this week, uh, so I'll just kind of ask the, the same thing uh, that we did this past week. So nice job, guys. Uh, hey, Spike shout out uh, on Friday. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Juliana and Tutu uh, for cleaning up in the lunchroom. Uh, Mrs. Freeman asked Juliana to, to uh, clean up uh, someone's tray. It wasn't her tray, but she did it anyways. She didn't say, no, it's not mine. Uh, she did it anyways uh, with a smile. So uh, nice job, Juliana. Our focus this week will be on the parables of Jesus. Today we hear about the parable of the sower, who has been scattering seeds of faith in you. These seeds may take a variety of forms, attending mass, family prayer, your religion classes, a teacher who listens when you're overwhelmed, a friend giving you a hug on a rough day. These seeds of God's love are abundantly scattered throughout our days, though we do not always notice them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Such great crowds gathered around him that Jesus got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this today. How can you make your life fertile ground for God's grace to flourish? and grow. Well, we can be fertile ground uh, when we make good choices, uh, maybe when we listen uh, to, to, to others. And we talked about um, how friends, how parents, teachers uh, could help us uh, become more fertile ground. And in this parable today, because uh, remember, parables are just stories that Jesus told. Uh, in this parable today, we hear how some of the seeds did not land on fertile ground uh, and they didn't grow any fruit, uh, whether they uh, the birds took them or the weeds got them. Uh, that represents all the distractions in our life that can sometimes uh, lead us not to grow. So how can we uh, eliminate uh, some of those distractions that might prevent us from growing uh, in our lives today? And let us stand in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, everyone, let's make it a great day.